Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you an AI tool or AI website, let's say, that allows you to basically generate any checklist that you need. No, guys, if this sounds fascinating to you, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to see much more interesting tutorials coming out every week like this one. Now, let me head over to my screen so that I can show you what this AI tool is and basically how to use it. Now, let's go. Now, guys, open up any browser you have and simply type in checklist generator.ai, right? Now, once you're there, guys, you will see this beautiful, simply AI checklist website, right? And this website is from the makers of Manifestly. So if you click on Manifestly checklist here, you can learn more about this tool. And here you can see that this tool was developed by a small group of developers focused on helping organizations create and improve their business performance by creating checklists. Now that is very helpful and very useful, right? Now let's go back to the homepage here and show you basically how it works. So now if you click the drop down here, you can see that it ranges from a wide range of industries, basically every industry you can think of, right? But the most important thing is that this checklist is poured by GPT-4 and it does not limit you to these categories, let's say, or this industry, but you can use this checklist generator to generate basically any checklist that you want. Remember that you can use it to generate any checklist that you want, so you're not limited to what you see here. So if you scroll down on the page here, guys, you will see that these checklists are organized into the various industries right you have basically three outline here and then you can click the view all to see more from that specific industry and that's basically how it's organized right now now when you're at the bottom of this page you can simply toggle between dark or light and this is your preference how you like to view the website right but for my taste i will stay with the dark mode. now i'm gonna just basically show you how it looks when you open up one of these categories. So let's say on the e-commerce, I can click view all and I will be able to see a lot more options that they have there. Now, you will think that these are just limited, right? Now, as I said, you can basically use it to generate any checklist that you need. Now, here in my screen, you see that I've given a simple prompt, create a carrot cake recipe checklist. And all you have to do is just click create checklist. Now, this is the checklist that it has generated for me, guys. Now, and if you scroll down, you will see all that it has provided for me, right? Now, at this right-hand side, you will see these remove step, right? So if you're not comfortable with any steps here, you can just simply remove it. As well, you realize that you can get more suggestion or add step details, right? So let's say I would like to suggest something more. I can easily click suggest more, and this will do a quick update and add more suggestion there for me. And that is very, very useful, right? So on the right hand side here, guys, you see a few options. You have the regeneration, a few options how to download it, and of course, to use this into Manifestly. And Manifestly is a tool that is developed by this same creator here of this tool here, right? So let's say you don't like what you have gotten here, you can simply click the regeneration button, and this will take a few seconds regenerate this new checklist for me right and there you have it this is the new checklist that is generated for me now I'm gonna just show you how to simply download it I will choose the option of CSV so all you have to do is simply click CSV here and this will pop up a box where you can input your email address which I will do and this will basically send a link or verification link to my email in order for me to do so. So let me go ahead and open up my email here so that you can see what it looks like. And there you have it guys, the first email in the list will give me the option to download. So here it says, click to verify your email and I will just simply click to verify my email. No, when I will be there again, you can simply click the option to download again and this will simply download it. So you click to download with CSV, it sends you the email notification for you to simply verify it then you go back to the website again and you simply need to click the download csv again and that will automatically download the file now you can see right here in my top right hand side that is downloaded that csv file for me 
and that's how easy it is you'll be able to download and use this checklist however you want and there you have it guys i really hope that you found some value within this video and if you do go ahead give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments below and see you next time for another tutorial just like this one